Hi, my name is April Craighead and I work on pikas in Montana. I need your support for one of our pika projects that helps to educate and train citizen scientists to record pika locations throughout the state. This powerhouse of energy is the smallest member of the rabbit family and typically lives in high alpine environments among boulder fields or talus. Pikas don't hibernate like other mammals do that live in high alpine areas. Instead, they collect large amounts of vegetation, or hay piles, that they stack within the talus and then eat all winter long underneath the snow. One of the most interesting things about pikas is that they are an important indicator species for climate change and are sometimes referred to as the canary in the coal mine. The reason that they hold this title is that they literally can't stand the heat, and if they are placed down temperatures above 80 degrees without cover for more than about six hours, they die. To help cool down, pikas utilize the nooks and crannies of talus where the temperatures are much cooler. As overall temperatures increase, especially in alpine areas, warmer temperatures will either drive pika populations to extinction or force them to move upslope to find cooler environments. Moving upslope may have worked in the past, but now pikas are running out of room since they tend to live at the top of the mountains already and there is no place left to go. Pikas are an ideal species for citizen science. They are charismatic, easy to identify, and fun to watch. With a little bit of training, volunteers can be ready to go out and collect relevant pika data throughout the state. That data comes back to me, which I then map and then share with other researchers and agency personnel. The results from my study will allow those agency personnel and researchers to better identify current pika habitat and identify areas of refugia that will sustain pikas in the future as climate changes. Your donations will allow me to recruit more volunteers throughout the state by giving more pika presentations, keeping up with mapping, and monitor pika populations. In the end, climate change is going to affect all living things, and I think that the plight of the pika is actually closely tied to our own future. I don't know what the fate of the pika will be, but I hope that my research better informs the general public on this charismatic species and helps managers make better decisions that will enable pikas to live into the next century. Thank you.